800 years ago, Yellowstone's old faithful geyser went quiet. Scientists believe that soon this might happen again. Old Faithful famed geyser in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming erupts with such captivating regularity they named the whole gushing spring after it being timely on a regular basis. They called it Old Faithful. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Phenomenal bursts of hot water and steam. It's fed by the geothermal activity of the Yellowstone supervolcano underneath. It spurts up with such punctuality they can even be predicted. They've even given Old Faithful the nickname Eternity's Timepiece. But Old Faithful was not always so faithful, and in times long ago, about 800 years ago, this quote-unquote Eternity's Timepiece stopped ticking entirely. In the last several decades, scientists observed that Old Faithful's eruption intervals between the IEB's eruptions has changed considerably and it stretched from about 60 to 65 minutes in the 1950s to about 90 to 94 minutes since 2001. And to investigate why and probe the links between Old Faithful IBE's variations and long-term drought variability in the region, in a new study, researchers from the U.S. Geological Survey collected several remnants of mineralized wood that they found around the mound upon which Old Faithful sits. As we know, there's a lot of forests around there. Now today the mound is barren and empty of trees. They do not grow on active geyser mounds, as the constant deluge and splatter of scalding alkali-rich discharge would be incompatible with germination and seeding, seedling growth for, for trees. But nevertheless, the pioneering study decades ago did analyze an ancient wood sample that was recovered from Old Faithful, and this suggests that once upon a time, at least, the geyser's eruption did relent for a while, and trees grew in its location. So they inspired to learn more. The USGS team analyzed 13 mineralized wood samples they recovered from Old Faithful's mound, with radiocarbon dating suggested that these trees grew in Yellowstone several centuries ago, around 1233 to 1362 A.D., Author of USGS geologist Shaul Hurwitz told Science, when I submitted the samples for radiocarbon dating, radiocarbon dating, I did not know whether they would be hundreds or thousands of years old. It was an aha moment when they all clustered within a hundred year period in the 13th to 14th centuries the, to figure out why and how these trees were able to live in this relatively brief decades-long time window during which Old Faithful seemingly stopped erupting, the researchers looked for historic data that could explain drought conditions at the time, and they were reduced, where reduced precipitation and lower groundwater supply would turn off the taps for this geyser. They didn't have to look far, though, with previous local tree ring data indicating pronounced mega droughts across the region and in other parts of the world as well, resulting from severe conditions during an episode known as the Medieval Climate Anomaly, or Medieval Warm Period. It's the time when we have things like grapes growing in northern England and a loss of sea ice that allowed, allowed people to discover Greenland. This is what Pal the, to figure out why and how these trees were able to live in this relatively brief decades-long time window during which Old Faithful seemingly stopped erupting, the researchers looked for historic data that could explain drought conditions at the time, and they were reduced, where reduced precipitation and lower groundwater supply would turn off the taps for this geyser. They didn't have to look far, though, with previous local tree ring data indicating pronounced mega droughts across the region and in other parts of the world as well, resulting from severe conditions during an episode known as the Medieval Climate Anomaly, or Medieval Warm Period. It's the time when we have things like grapes growing in northern England 
and the loss of sea ice that allowed people to discover Greenland. This is what paleoclimatologist Kathy Whitlock from Montana State University, who was not involved in the study, said, according to the, to figure out why and how these trees were able to live in this relatively brief, decades-long time window during which Old Faithful seemingly stopped erupting, the researchers looked for historic data that could explain drought conditions at the time, and they were reduced where reduced precipitation and lower groundwater supply would turn off the taps for this geyser. They didn't have to look far, though, with previous local tree ring data indicating pronounced mega droughts across the region and in other parts of the world as well, resulting from severe conditions during an episode known as the medieval climate anomaly or medieval warm period. It's the time when we have things like grapes growing in northern England and a loss of sea ice that allowed, allowed people to discover Greenland. This is what pounds to result in less frequent eruptions of Old Faithful Geyser, while the new 14 carbon dates of mineralized wood suggests that severe long duration droughts events can lead to Old Faithful eruption stopping. The findings were reported in geophysics research letters, and this is on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you.